Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Where today I have something different for you, something interesting and, and actually really amazing for you. I'm going to show you one really amazing gameplay. As you can see, this battle is played by me, but I am not going to be the star of this replay. No, I'm not going to be it. Usually, I can say that around 95% of the times, whenever I get destroyed, I usually do not continue watching the gameplay. And nice shot, by the way, uh, by that D20 into me. But in this battle, after I got destroyed, for some reason, I even do not know why, but I continued watching the battle. And what happened was simply amazing. What our little AMX 1390 is going to be able to do in this gameplay is uh, first class entertainment. Yeah, I believe this is the best way to describe it. Uh, but I had actually a pretty good game as well. I'm going to be able to deal quite decent amount of damage with my Skoda D50. I'm still grinding uh, towards TVP D5051. Mm, so yeah, just playing, having fun. I didn't record anything. I was just having fun uh, playing some World of Tanks and uh, grinding some Skoda D50 action. I'm going to be able to get a couple of kills and yeah, decent amount of damage, as said. So T29, one clip into him. He was actually able to put one shot into me as well. And uh, T34 was able to finish this guy off. So back to reload. And T10 is going to be my next target. Let's put three shots into this guy as well. Low roll and high roll. So average in total. And once again T34 is going to be able to take the kill. Boom. Works for me. Because we are still losing this game actually. 4 to 6. So 3800 damage done so far. Uh, trying to cruise around, trying to spot some enemy tanks. And I got spotted actually without spotting anything back. So I had to pull back because I do not know where enemy artillery is and so on. Uh, but uh, we can see almost dead T34. I was able to take that kill, which is nice. AMX 1390 is over here. And guys, I do not know why uh, light tank icons are like they are at the moment on the uh, player list, as you can see. Uh, so I skipped a little action over here. We are alone now with AMX 1390. Artillery is blind shooting me. And there is 87. I'm pretty much surrounded. T20 is up on the hill and our base is being raised as well by Skoda D50. So I have to get behind at 87. I have to do some damage to that 87. I was able to put three shots into this guy. And boom. Dead I am. 5000 damage done, decent game, and Skoda D50 was able to kill me. And so at least we know where that Skoda D50 is. And by the way, if you didn't see that, uh, AMX 1390 was able to uh, kill 87 as well. So now he is simply hiding from the RT. Hiding and reloading, I guess. And this is where the show begins. I don't know why, but I continued watching. I saw it is 1 versus 4. Uh, or sorry, 1 versus 5, uh, enemy team still have tier 9 Skoda D50, they have 3 artilleries, including 1 tier 9 artillery, and also 1 tier 7 medium tank. So it is going to be interesting. AMX 1390 moved towards our base. I think he got spotted because he started hiding. I believe the E20 spotted him. Uh, when I am watching uh, the replay or the battle like this, uh, I am not going to see when AMX 39 is going to be spotted. And when he's not going to be spotted, two artilleries. Is the third one going to be over here as well? Nope, does not seem like it. Oh, Skoda D50 is spotted up on the hill. D20 is capturing our base and AMX was actually able to bounce one shot from D20. At first I believe he decided to go for that T20 but uh, then he said fuck it let's go for the Skoda D50 who actually missed his first shot. And beautiful kill. And really important kill as well but guys here comes the artillery. Boom. Artillery splash damage puts him down to 8 HP. T20 is still capturing, he didn't move. Uh, so AMX1390 is going to reposition. Well done. Slowly but steadily you have 8 HP. Uh, this guy is playing really really smart actually. And enemy GW Tiger B says locker. You do not know what you're talking about. No luck, all skilled. One shot, one kill. 
but D20 actually needs two shots to be killed. But our AMX is going to reposition and he's going to play really smart once again. Uh, he's going to be in the RT shadow and he's going to use those dead tanks over here. D20 is spotted. Come on, one shot into him, one more needed. And I believe he got spotted, yes he got spotted, D20 moved and oh what a kill that was. And boom, as you can see, my heart is racing as well actually in the chat. I'm going to be pretty active in the chat. Uh, so it is going to be 1 versus 3. One little light tank with 8 hit points versus 3 artilleries. It is actually really interesting and really entertaining to see what this guy is going to do and uh, guys, th let's think together, let's play this game together, what you would do in this kind of situation when you have 8 hit points and you are uh, 1 versus 3 artilleries. He's going to be in the middle, I believe he's going to be up on the hill, he's trying to spot some targets in the enemy base. And maybe there are some artillery camping in the base or maybe they are repositioning, maybe they are going to send one artillery out to scout. And other guys are going to aim and shoot, maybe. Let's see. Uh, do we have anything over here? Anything at all? Nope. Doesn't seem like it. Still nothing. Yeah, nothing. Time to reposition. So, hill didn't work. He's going all the way around. Uh, maybe something over here. Maybe he's going to be able to spot something over here. He should be able to spot artillery before they are going to be able to spot him. Unless artillery is camping in the bush. This might be a possibility. I don't know. So all the way around, going to take the safe road into the enemy base. Let's just hope we do not have anything over here. Who is ready to shoot? Enemy T49 asks straw. No dude. Win or lose? Draw is pretty much like lose anyways. We are here to win or lose. And guys, check this out. Oh my god, I couldn't believe it. They are all together. Literally every single artillery. They are all camping together. He was able to kill one, one artillery. That shot was just ridiculous into the ground. I do not know how it was even possible. Uh, so that was pretty ridiculous shot, but uh, he was able to kill one artillery, so two more to go. Two artilleries more to go. He's not spotted anymore, and it is time to reposition once again. It is still pretty risky if I would be that artillery, I would have taken the blind shot as well. And so he's going to reposition into the next push, but nothing spotted. And as you can see, I said, if you pull this off, I send you 2.5k gold straight away. I am man of my word, if this guy is going to pull this off, I'm going to send him 2,500 gold. Yeah, I know, maybe bad timing to say that because of some extra pressure, but I was entertained and I was hyped actually. I wanted this guy to win, I really wanted this guy to win. Anyways, let's continue watching the battle because he is pushing forward and he was able to spot Lorraine. First quick shot into the target, second shot was a miss, third shot is also some BS happening over here and fourth shot was a killing blow. Well done, but there is one more. I believe our AMX 1390 is reloading, yes, as you can see he's reloading for 42 more seconds and artillery decided to rush him actually, a little bit. So he's running away behind the house. And enemy GW Tiger P once again says something. I say one more, like he doesn't see it himself. I do not know why I did that, but guys, I was entertained, I was hyped. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I'm like the commander stereotype. I'm dead and I'm commanding. <laughs> so sorry for that. One more minute. This is going to be close. This is this is going to be really, really close, dude. I can almost feel his heart racing at the moment. So he's trying to spot the artillery, <laughs> our j banter doesn't know what is going on, what the fuck are you doing? He's reloading, ready to fire, artillery is spotted, okay. What is this guy going to do? Okay, he repositioned, I believe this is your time to go in, 28 seconds. I think you have to take the risk, just take the risk and pray. This, this might be the best play over here. So he's going in, tier 8 scout versus artillery, he was able to put one shot into him and boom, he's dead. Little tier 8 scout with 8 hit points was almost able to do it.
It was almost able to win the battle and 2500 gold from me. But guys, for such an epic effort, I still sent him 1000 gold. So if you're watching this video at the moment, I said it in the in-game chat window as well that I sent him 1000 gold. So if you are watching this video at the moment, go check your gift shop. There is 1000 gold waiting for you. And thank you for such an epic first class entertainment. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome battle. I had really good battle, but this guy at the end takes the cake. Now one thing that he could have done after he saw that his artillery is over here Okay, he was uh, he was trying to come up from here, right? From here like that As soon as he spotted artillery I believe the best option to be able to kill him would have been Just go down here and up here because artillery is not going to be able to shoot that much down. So maybe, yeah, but maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe sometimes is not enough. But still, this game, guys. <laughs> Completely random battle. 95% of the times, as I said, I do not continue watching the battle after I get destroyed. Whenever I'm playing solo, of course. And when I do... <laughs> I can't believe it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching and I get you next time. Take care and bye.